left for your enemy. All right, guys, you need to watch this video because the new hand cannon meta has actually just been discovered. Big shout out to the homie Omarillo Designs. He came in my Twitch chat yesterday and he was like, yo, my Kindle Orchid is killing people at 32 meters with a three tap. And I was like, holy shit, that's better than, you know, every other hand cannon in the game pretty much because they all hit out like 28 meters and they start getting drop off. And uh, he let me go on his account and here you can see it. We've got explosive payload, range finder, tactical mag, full bore and a range masterwork. So this thing could have even more range if had accurized rounds, but it didn't seem to matter. So what I did was I took an Ostringer with rangefinder and I took this Kindle Orchid into private matches and I just tested it out for you so you guys can see this right here. 32 meters right there, that's boom. Okay. There we go, 32 meters with a rangefinder Ostringer. One, two, three. Not quite getting the kill. Now let's try a Kindle Orchid with rangefinder and explosive payload. Let's see what we can do. One, two three damn son damn son there you go if you were wondering guys let's see if i can kill you from even further away with this thing so we're at 35 meters right there see. nah can't so 32 meters still though let's see for comparison sakes one more time what ostringer would do from this very same range Even though the Ostringer has more range, the Kindle Orchid is better. And it's quite interesting. And yeah, that's quite a incredible discovery, really, because it basically means explosive rounds doesn't give you any damage fall off. And it basically extends the effective range of your hand cannon quite considerably. And obviously, before the update to Shadow Keep and the hand cannon range nerf, it didn't really matter because your range was plenty good anyway. But now it's a literal game changer. You'll be able to get kills at distances that are basically impossible with other hand cannons that do not have explosive rounds. And I've got a bunch of live commentary coming up just to show it in action. A little bit of comp, a little bit of sixes. You guys can see it for yourself. It is really, really good. On top of the extended range that you get, you also deal a lot of flinch to your opponents with explosive payload, which obviously makes it easier to win 1v1s because you make them miss shots because of all the flinch from the explosions. And yeah, I was really, really surprised. If you like hand cannons, if you're a hand cannon guy, you need to farm for the Kindle Orchid, which you can do so. It's a Black Armory weapon. If you're new to the game, Black Armory was an activity last year. You can still do it now and you can still farm for a Kindle Orchid. This is what you want to go for. Explosive payload and range finder, accurized rounds, full bore, range master work. Also, better devils can also roll explosive payload and range finder. So that is another option. And I'm actually going to be trying one of those out as well very soon. And uh, once I've tried that out, I'll probably do a comparison video and just decide which is the actual best one out of the two. Because I feel like these are the best two hand cannons, especially legendary hand cannons in the game now. There's obviously Not Forgotten as well, especially on console. Not Forgotten probably still has a place, so we'll see. With Not Forgotten 2, I'll probably try that out a little bit more. I haven't really touched it since uh, Shadow Keep, so we'll see what that's saying too. But guys, this is the, definitely the new hand cannon meta, explosive payload rangefinder. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to leave a like and I will see you in the next one. Peace. I can really feel the flinch I'm putting on him with the wave splitter. Against the wave splitter even. Five minutes. Could go your way. Could go there. Easy. Now, hand cannons, you need to farm for one of these or for a better devil's with range finder. I'm gonna try and do a video on a, an explosive round range finder better devils as well. Okay. I was going for some high IQ heal play or some shit there. Some warlock thing that I don't quite understand. Oh, 
Oh my god, look at that. Three tap range. Oh my god. Explosive rounds is the hand cannon meta. 100%. I'm so sure of it. I'd like to flank, but I just have the feeling that there's someone just sitting there waiting for me to do exactly that. See that on the radar? He's just sitting there. Probably with a shotgun in hand. Do you want to see? Yep, there he is. <laughs> Dude. Try and use your primary for once in your life. Holy fuck. Ooh, seek the UTEP. Oh, little hunter. That's not a hunter. What was that? I swear it looked like he shade stepped. But he was wearing one eyed mask. Did I just see a one eyed mask titan using shade step? Is that what I just witnessed? Oh my god. Nice air and tool, man. You're falling behind. Okay, you're just very laggy. Noted. Noted, sir. This is amazing. Oh, is that a high IQ tether? Um, no, I don't think you got anyone. Guess I'll take this. What have I got? Gambit rocket launcher. Okay, shoot it at someone, shall we? No. <laughs> it's actually sad how bad that rocket is. Maybe it's just me, I'm terrible with rockets, TBH. Look at that, three tap range. Dude, with a regular hand cannon, you're hitting like 30 to the head or some shit there. They'll be decent players. Very least. Uh oh. I just feel dirty there because I've got one eyed mask on. Okay. Holy shit. And off he goes. <laughs> These guys are some fucking Olympic runners, man. Holy shit. I'm confused too, brother. I, I try to engage you guys and all you do is run away from me. No lives left for your enemy. Oh, holy shit. Alright guys, well there it is. The Kindle Orchid with Explosive Payload and Rangefinder. No joke with this thing, this thing is actually absolutely nasty. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and also consider hitting subscribe for more Destiny 2 Shadowkeep content. I'm gonna do a video on a better Devils with Explosive Payload 2, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, that's it from me, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, peace.